How's it going everyone? Welcome to Rad's big game today for Forest against Newcastle United. Of course, only six weeks ago at Christmas, we beat Newcastle at St. James's Park. What a game that was. 3-1, Chris Wood, hat-trick, first win under Nuno, only a second game of course in charge. It was just incredible. It would have been amazing to have been there. Of course, I wasn't. So I'm excited to be at this one. Hopefully we can get anything close to that. You don't really know what version of Newcastle they're going to turn up this season. They're a bit hot and cold, as their fans, I'm sure, would uh, agree with. They've been very inconsistent. Still got a lot of potential to be a very successful team in the future, but clearly not quite that finished article at all yet. So let's hope we catch them on one of those off days. But let's hope we don't play the side that beat Villa 3-1 the other day. I wouldn't go too dissimilar to what we've been playing in recent weeks. I'd like to see Toffolo play at left-back again. Do you bring Nierkate back in at centre-back? Who do you drop, though? It's really harsh. I probably would have to be on Badadeli, but he's been excellent since he's come in. So, some big decisions to make. I think we can nick it. And I wouldn't be surprised if Newcastle walked away with something here because, let's be honest, it's a very tough game. If you do enjoy this, please hit the like button. Subscribe to Rads if you're new. And yeah, up the Reds. Let's go. Rad, Dad. Hello. Big game today against Newcastle. Huge game, yes. I always think? like Newcastle. I've got a soft spot for them. Uh, yeah, it's, if we could repeat what we did on Boxing Day, which I think we can, because you know we've got players coming back, Yatesy and Dominguez probably coming back, hopefully. The Belgian keeper, mm. I'm quite excited about this guy. Let's hope he don't sell himself short. And uh, hopefully, let's hope he don't uh, go by his sell-by date. But let's, uh, I'm going for a 2-1 uh, a victory to Nottingham Forest. A big ambitious call, but it is an ambitious call, but I think we can yeah. do it. Yeah, you say we beat them Newcastle. at St. James and I'm finished. Oh, I'm just I'm just reiterating your point. <laughs> so Yeah, Newcastle are a very hot and cold team, but I do like Newcastle, but I think we can just nick a two one. Here with Lee. Alright Rads. What do you think today, Newcastle? I'm confident today, two one. Yeah. Two one Forest, yeah. They've got a few issues, no we have as well, but mm. Yeah, yeah. I fancy us 2-1. Fingers so, crossed, we need it. We need it yeah. today. Anyway. You Reds, come on Reds. boys. Alright, so we've got Adam here. Are you okay? Newcastle channels, go subscribe to him. Um, what do you think today from a Newcastle perspective? Well, I know for Forest fans, I imagine I'll ask you or anyone else. Most is, I think, probably would be confident after the way you play at St. James' Park. I mean, on the day, I can't deny, one fair and square. Obviously, you haven't got uh, Chris Wood today, that's an important point to take, but... Yeah. Um, it's, it's a tricky one really because um, Newcastle's away from when you look at on paper it's actually terrible it's up there with the worst in the league but over yeah. the past month ever since Newcastle won the time we got a derby with Sunderland we've actually been playing much better even in the games like Luton Town last week or the City game we've lost uh, Newcastle has still got a lot of positives to take out of it uh, going to this game tonight uh, I said it my point of view it has to be three points and most if we get anything less than that it's, mm -hmm. it, it's just not a good result for us especially how our season's been without the Champions League without the Carabao Cup yeah. we had to was in the Premier League now and I think against any any bottom half team Newcastle have got to look at winning every single one of them if we want to have a, a, a decent end to the year. Against Forest though it's going to be a tricky one I think any away game you go down to I mean City ground last season Newcastle only just won with a last minute penalty so mm -hmm. it, it won't be easy at all I think we'll have enough in the bag tonight though I think Newcastle's overall quality is just probably a little bit too much Forest if I'm going to be honest. Yeah I probably are. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you so much. You take care. Cheers. Today, interesting game today, Newcastle. Yeah. <laughs> Don't really know what to expect. What do you think? Shit you know what, mate. I might come to regret it. And I might think, oh, God, I put my foot in my mouth. Mm. Sometimes I only open my mouth to change my feet, David. Do you know what I mean? But I fancy us to win. Yeah. I've got a funny feeling about us winning today. Don't ask me why, don't, don't ask me the reason, the logic, whatever. I just, just fancy us to win. You know, we, when we went to Newcastle Boxing Day and I was there, <laughs> disbelieving. Okay. What Incredible. A, a brilliant performance by our last Saturday. Yeah. Newcastle are quite slow at the back. Yeah. It'd be, I've just talked to somebody who thinks that instead of Dan Byrne playing, who has been, he got roasted by Benny last week, he got roasted by both Woody and Anthony up at, up at, uh, up at St James's. Now he's a good lad, Dan Byrne, cracking blow, good player. But uh, I think they might play Liveramento instead. Now, Liveramento, I think, is a lad who's going to play for England at some point. You know, Eddie's got, Eddie's got plenty of options, but I've just got this feeling 
that you know the games that we've played if you like Bristol City twice and Bournemouth yeah. Brentford this one looks more difficult than the others but I fancy for that reason I fancy us to win this so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 2-0 Forest wow I hope you're right I'm not normally this optimistic no, are you? I, mean, no. I might need to kind of go and have a lie down mate but <laughs> win today mate yeah up the reds up the reds mate all right here at Glen today Newcastle uh, yeah I was a little bit anxious this morning coming up I wasn't sure what we were going to get and now we've seen the team I'm a little bit more yeah. satisfied that we've got some we've got enough to put together I'm a bit worried that Taiwo starting may put us in a position where it's not a matter of if he gets injured it might be when yeah and we were there, then you know we're throwing all our cards on the table aren't we we're not got a lot of options beyond that although uh, Regan might, Regan might have a little bit of something after after midweek, so who knows, yeah. who knows. But, yeah, my only concern really is, uh, is Williams there, I think, in playing with, with not really any other support in the, in the, in the yeah, right, back, right wing back. Yeah. Now we've got a couple of out. Uh, yeah, we might be, we might be uh, you know, yeah. might be missing there, but who knows. I mean, yeah. you never know. They've got a few, uh, they've got a few in that I didn't anticipate. So, yeah. It's all to play for though, isn't it? If we score Good first, it? I think we'll be alright. Definitely. We'll see how it gets on. Come on, you Alright. Equalizer, but got to take your chances. 
which you weren't doing before, you weren't even having chances. And that kind of galvanises a bit. And then they got another goal back. What a fantastic goal to end the half. Callum Hudson the door. He looks like he's got that confidence back that he's been missing. So I'll take a point, honestly. But on the balance of play, I would do. I thought a win would be huge. It really would. Oh, sad. Offside. Thank you everyone, this is the Reds. 